We've heard a lot today about how you define set success and failure in this business. Can you tell me how your company defines success or failure? Sure. Um, my company is Health Management, and it is four skilled facilities and assisted living with independent, all located in Georgia. And I would say there's two parts to a success in my company. Number one is maintaining and earning the respect of your employees and seeing how they provide the care. Right. And then it's outcomes. What is the overall outcome of your patient care? Are your patients happy? What is, what is your satisfaction with your customers? And those are the two things. If you, if you have happy customers, you'll get more customers. Right. So with patients, we want them to be happy. We want them to feel comfortable. We want them to feel welcome. And you have to have that staff that feels that way as well. Right. So that would be success to me. We hear a lot about, also about staffing, workforce issues. How have you worked to attract and retain people at your four facilities? Excellent question. Right. I think it is one of the leading problems that we're all having. We've always fought for uh, regulations um, and we've always fought for funding. But now we're actually having to get in the ground roots of finding quality staff retention. So I have partnered with Central Georgia Technical College in my okay. area. I'm partnering um, with the schools. The schools are now having career path programs and we're allowing the students to come over and work in our facilities. And um, for, at, we work with whatever hours they can give to try to gr grassroots grow mm -hmm. that quality staffing you want and you want to get them in on your mission and, and get that trained.